Last week, Kevin Durant said that Kyrie was a better player than AI. He said he was better. Uh, no. That's not accurate. There's no, there's no reason, need to elaborate. I, it's just it's not accurate. Kyrie is a special, special creature when it comes to handling that rock. You know, he may have been a you know, better finisher closer to the basket, you know, but AI was, you know, they forgot he used to go in there and dunk that thing too. So, um, you know, nobody scores like that guy. Well, I think like people want to ignore the fact that the evolution of the game, there is no Kyrie without an AI. This is a different game because AI back then, you know, that's when the carry was a little bit, so he can actually move you without moving you. And, you know, you actually had to go bite on the fake. So, I mean, two different players, but I would say Kyrie right now. I love KD, but he's tripping. The stuff, I, you know, I talk to some of my family and stuff, like, you know, Kyrie's good, but AI is a different animal. You know what I mean? He, he was coming out there getting 28, 30 a night. It got to be a trick question. <laughs> you know, Kyrie got a lot of work before he can, he can be compared to that man. Uh, that's debatable, you know what I'm saying? Kyrie still got a long way to go, you know what I'm saying? He has the potential to be better than uh, than Al Narvison, but not right now today. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. I think both of those guys is an unbelievable talent. You know, he's just a game changer, man. Allen, Allen Iverson's a trendsetter, and Kyrie, and taking nothing from Kyrie, he's a great ball player. Um, but Allen Iverson's not only a game changer, but he's a winner as well. You think about the team that Iverson had, Eric Snow, Tyrone Hill, uh, I think Derek Coleman. But the guy, and the, the East was so physical and, and, and the competition was tougher, but no comparison. I, I couldn't even compare that.